Hello everyone, I'm Ravana and we're on the first day of the 14 day raw vegan challenge. If you want to participate in the challenge, you can do so by subscribing to my website ravana.com and I will leave all that information in the description of this video. Okay, so today I want to talk about kind of calories and calories in fruit and what a typical raw vegan high fruit uh, meal looks like. I know that for a lot of you at the beginning, it might be hard to eat large quantities of fruits and vegetables, especially raw, because they're very high in water content, fiber content, but remember that these are the best foods on the planet. They're gonna make you feel amazing. They're gonna actually nourish your body. So it's a lifestyle of abundance. Today, I will talk about a 2,000 calorie based meal plan, which is the average calories that a typical man or woman needs. Now, being um, aware of calories, knowing what cal calories are, for me especially, I like it because it just gives me empowerment of what I'm eating. It's not in an obsessive way, it's just in a way of I know what I'm putting into my body. And many times we don't even think of calories, especially when we're eating just normal vegan food or vegetarian food or any kind of food. We never know what we're actually putting into our bodies. Remember that every single body is different. So I, this is just a guide and you can accommodate it to your needs. You might need more, you might need less. And actually your activity levels are going to change in how many calories you eat during that day. Okay. So let's start with breakfast. Breakfast, um, I usually really like to have something very watery. So uh, I, as you guys know on my Instagram and Snapchat and everywhere, I love watermelon. Like, <laughs> it's just like a love that we have. Like, I can't explain it. It's probably my favorite fruit. Okay, so half a watermelon is gonna have approximately 600 calories. And if you're aiming to have 2000 calories, half a watermelon is just right. Okay, coconut water is another one of my favorite breakfasts because I usually like to work out in the morning, so I'll have something very light because I don't like to feel heavy. And for example, coconut water, this, this jar of 64 ounces of coconut water is gonna be approximately 500 calories, so it would be something um, really good for breakfast. Another breakfast that you can have is cantaloupe. I really like cantaloupe a lot. Um, when it's in season. One cantaloupe has approximately 500 calories, so you would want like one cantaloupe and maybe a little bit more. Another one of my favorite breakfasts is papaya. This can be breakfast or lunch, and one papaya has approximately 450 calories, so you can really accommodate it to how you want. If you feel like, at first, for example, I felt like just eating one whole papaya or like one whole, one whole uh, cantaloupe or any any food was just too much for me, so I would divide it in two. And I recommend that you do that. Like for breakfast, divide it in two, same for lunch, and same for dinner, and that way you don't feel like super, super stuffed. Because it's not about feeling uncomfortable, it's just feeling good with what you're eating and eating when you're hungry and stopping when you're not hungry. Okay, uh, this is orange juice. So this is a 32 ounce uh, glass of orange juice and this is gonna be approximately 450 calories. And if you want more, if you want less, you can really accommodate it to how you want. There are some days when 32 ounces is just right for me and there's some other days where I want more. If I'm very sedentary, I'm probably not gonna be that hungry. So it's okay to listen to your body. You don't have to get to a certain number of calories, just listen to your body. And honestly, all of these tools, knowing about calorie, being aware of that, it's just tools that you can accommodate to your own uh, personal meal plan, okay? So uh, <laughs> lunch, lunch, uh, usually you want something more dense. And I love to accompany fruit always with greens for lunch. I That's when I start eating greens either uh, romaine lettuce or cucumber or celery or anything like that. Each banana, for example, is gonna have 100 calories, so it's very easy to know how many calories you're eating when you're eating bananas. And this would have like 600 calories. For example, mangoes could be a great lunch. And obviously, mono meal is always gonna be best. And I know that in the meal plans that I'm giving you guys for this 14 day raw vegan challenge, I spice it up a bit and I mix fruits and veg, other fruits um, with maybe some cucumber, just because I feel like at the beginning, maybe you want a little bit more variety, 
but if you don't then this is perfect because just eating mono is much easier too so for example each mango is gonna have approximately 120 calories like this kind of mango this one might have maybe a little bit more so there you once you know like how much each fruit has you can really accommodate how much you really want to eat uh, this little mango is gonna have less this is gonna have 50 calories so for example if you're having you know like four large mangoes I think like five large mangoes could be like a good lunch for someone but then again just eat what feels right for you okay apples apples oh, I love apples I so honestly like the, the first year eating raw vegan I never liked apples but now I really like them so each apple is gonna have approximately 80 calories okay so there you can see for a lot of people eating a mono apple meal might be a little bit hard but I honestly like to put it in my smoothie so I'll make a green smoothie and just apples go well with almost everything. Pineapple, so this is probably like almost one whole pineapple, and pineapple is gonna have, one whole pineapple is gonna have 350 calories, 400 calories, so it's not even that much. It's more like the bulk and the pineapple. All right, so moving on to dinner, and dinner is gonna be much lower in calories. Like for example, just these three romaine lettuce is a hundred calories. That's nothing. That's really, really nothing. Like I usually eat like two packs of a day. I love, I love just like munching on it. And for example, these are some of the example ingredients that you would have in a salad. So each of these tomatoes is gonna be 30 calories. That's really nothing. This whole avocado is probably gonna have 350, 400 calories, but note that the fat content is gonna be much higher. I usually eat around one fourth to one half of an avocado, or either I'll go like five days without eating any fats, and then one day I'll eat like a whole avocado or something like that. I just, on it, like, and, and also it varies during times of the year. Like during winter I want more fat, and the summer I don't. Um, for example, each zucchini is gonna have 30 calories. That's really, really nothing. It's more high water content food, so, I know that at the beginning it might be hard to eat like these huge salads so I recommend that you just start off with small salads and you'll see like by the end of you know as time goes on you'll you'll be able to eat more okay I just want to show you like this whole box of spinach only has 100 calories that's nothing 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 but then again you like right now I can eat this and I can eat the three greens and I'm perfectly fine like your, remember that your stomach is a muscle and it adapts. So kale of, a bunch of kale is gonna be almost 100 calories, like not even 100 calories. So I really recommend that you eat some acid fruit before because it mixes best with uh, the salads and you'll, you're, you'll just feel more satiated. Like there's times when I don't eat any fruit at dinner and I always, feel at the end like I'm missing something and I'm looking for something so it's always better to eat it before also remember that apples um, mix very very well with salads as well so yes this is kind of like the um, typical uh, raw vegan high fruit low fat uh, meal plan and yeah so you can really just accommodate it to your needs and I just feel like this way of eating is just so beautiful and it's so delicious and it's so good it's gonna satiate you in every every single way so let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video if it was helpful if you have any other questions I'm so happy for everyone who's joined the challenge and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two of the 14-day raw vegan challenge bye